Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and I wanted to go fairly briefly over the WordPress um, admin area or the dashboard, or just kind of a brief idea of what's going on in WordPress uh, fairly quickly. So um, what you need to do is, of course, after you install WordPress or you have a, a blog, um, this is our sample blog for now. You can see a pretty, pretty basic theme, uh, posts and links and everything like that. And I just wanted to kind of show you the admin area with a live example to kind of explain uh, things in brief. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so what you have here is when you log in, you have the dashboard. Um, you can kind of rearrange the ideas, but uh, I won't get too much into it. So, you know, comments, um, creating a new, uh, uh, adding some media, whatever. Um, so it, on the left-hand side is really where you're going to have every single thing you need to do. And uh, some of them, <coughs> some of the tabs are more popular to use, some are less, but we'll go over them one by one. So I'm going to go here. Uh, under dashboard, you have the updates. Um, updates basically refer to uh, both your a, a WordPress site and mainly plugins. So if I click on that, you'll be able to, to see that um, WordPress is suggesting that there's a new version 3.6.1 and it's also showing me updates for themes and for plugins, stuff like that. So here's where you kind of manage it. You can also go to the uh, plugins area right here, right on the left hand side. Okay. Uh, the next one is the post. That's probably the most popular area for a blog. This is where you can manage, you can edit, add, and, and just create uh, posts in general. So a post is basically a blog post. It's an article. It's a, it's a topic you're writing about. Um, so what you want to do is if you have a new post, you just click on Add New, or you edit a specific one, and you go there. So I'm going to click on Add New, and we'll go over it quickly. Okay, and just, just for the example, this specific thing is a post, okay? So here's your, your post title, your actual post content, images, um, and then uh, uh, we'll go over the rest. Okay, so um, this is the basic template you have. This is the title right here, the title of the post. This is the actual content, and you can obviously uh, include code. You can embed stuff, put images, embed the video, stuff like that, tag stuff. And um, if you select here on the top, uh, uh, this tab text, this is actually HTML text. If you click on visual, um, it'll let you kind of do an easier thing so you can kind of type in text and bold it and just do it in, in an easier in easier manner. Um, so uh, on the right hand side is where you're going to either save or preview or set the visibility of a post and where you actually publish it or you edit it later on. So um, you can do things such as set it private with a password you can uh, stick it to the front page so it doesn't always go down. You can set it to post on a different date, maybe in a day from now, or, or maybe backwards, stuff like that. Um, if you go down below to this next one, this is where you tag the categories so you can set up different themes uh, around articles. So maybe one is talking about, uh, let's say, you know, uh, the weather. Uh, so all the articles that are re related to weather, you would do that. Or one is related to, let's say, infographics, just like we wrote here. Uh, so you do that. So uh, in addition to category tag, which are really a main, main theme, you always want to include on this box a specific tags. So what that, are, uh, what that is are either a word or a short, short phrase or multiple of them that describe your article. So in the case of, of our example here, Contact Form 7, um, we included some kind of uh, uh, technical talk about this specific product, Contact Form 7, and Google Analytics. So as a tag, I might include something like Analytics and then Contact Form uh, 7. You really, and then I would just then click on Add. So you really don't want to have too many uh, uh, tags. Typically, uh, one, two, three, maybe four maximum. You don't want to overload it with tags. And then um, the rest is just, you know, we don't have to explain right now. So uh, just to kind of show on the main example, when we created the article, the, we set a category. Um, let's see what, what the category we set. I don't recall it right now. Okay, so we're, actually I'm going to have to check because I don't really remember. 
Okay, so contact form 7. If I do it, I actually select it under the tips, right? So we categorize it as a tip and we included these four a, a, a tags. So if you notice, um, right here, it says this entry was posted in tips, which is my categories, and here are all the tags. So these basically kind of link, they create category pages and they link all of the relevant articles together. So you always want to try to, to be on the same uh, uh, line of thought when you create the categories, especially, and also for tags. Okay? Um, so th that's basically it for the actual article. Let's go on. So uh, again, posts we've pretty much covered. Either we can edit or add, or we can manage categories and tags. The next, uh, the next kind of the tab we're talking about is media. This is typically the, the, uh, related to the images that you upload. Either you attach them on articles, or you just want to upload them to the server to use them. Pretty straightforward. I won't get into it. Add new, edit, manage, tag them, stuff like that. Um, the next one, the next tag are the links. So if you have uh, a blog role or a link section on your website, which in our case, let me go back to the home page of the blog, uh, is this blog role section. So if you want to include external links, maybe your favorite blogs or links to, to relevant pages to be on all of your pages or some of them, you go to the link section and you add a new one. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's very few. The, what is the name you want? Um, what is the a the address and any any di additional information? Um, pretty straightforward. So the next uh, tab I wanted to go over is called pages. Pages are different from blog posts. Pl posts are actual you know one two three on on the list. Pages are actually main pages like an about us, contact us, or anything relevant. So if I click on this about on the live site, you'll, you'll be able to see some description we, we wrote. So if I go to about, I can edit it here or create a new one. Um, pretty similar to the post, you have your title, your content in the middle. You don't have tags or, or categories because they're actual pages, so they're, they're its own entity. And again, you have the, the publish time, you have a, a previewing, stuff like that. Pretty straightforward. So let's go on to the next one, comments. Um, so if you have, not on pages, but on blog posts, if you enabled uh, comments, you can see, let me go to this specific uh, blog post, you can see that people can, it can uh, include uh, uh, comments. And um, what I did specifically is anytime someone submits a comment on the settings, which we'll get to later on, uh, you can approve them so you, you don't have spam and you don't have people just writing nonsense and whatever. So here are our comments. You know, this Peter, P-E-P-R, wrote a comment on that article, and then we can respond and do all that stuff. So pretty straightforward. You, you um, want to go and, and either approve or disapprove uh, specific comments and, um, you know, reply to them. And you always want to engage with your readers. So pretty straightforward. Here you can see a lot of it's spam, and we didn't include any kind of spam plugins. So all of these I'm basically going to trash and delete and, and uh, disapprove and, and mark as spam, basically. Um, so uh, next one is the appearance tab. We're just going to go on to the next one. The appearance tab is related really to the appearance of your site. Uh, what theme you're using. So a theme is really like your design. Um, so right now we're using one of the default themes, 2011, that came with the latest uh, or the, the before latest WordPress version. You can buy themes, you can browse. Uh, here you would actually install new ones, so I can uh, search for something related to me, maybe uh, maybe related to photos if I, if I need a portfolio. You can preview them, see them before you install, and then install now will replace your old theme with the newest one. Uh, this is basically our, our main theme, pretty straightforward. Um, the next one are widgets. Okay, so widgets, um, depending on how your theme is set up, will include different functionality. A lot of the times on basic themes, they'll include the, the, the functionality on your sidebars, this area, the archives, the blog roll, the tags. So if you notice here, ar archives, blog roll, and tags. If I go here, you can see on the sidebar, again on the right-hand side, that I included the archives, I included the links, and I included the tag cloud, exactly what I have here. If I want to switch the order, I'll just drag them. If I want to remove them, I'll just drag them to the left. 
And um, if I want to include anything else, you can use these built-in things, um, these built-in widgets that will help you. And if you really just want to include like HTML text, you just drag this text to the right-hand side, and you can include like any kind of HTML that you want. So maybe like an image, for example, let's say images or whatever. And then you click on save, and, and it should load. Um, so let's just do this test. Let's save. And then I'm going to reload my page, and I'll just show you that the text will come here, right here. So you can include an HTML text. V very useful uh, for many cases. Okay. Uh, the next thing are menus. So again, depending on the theme you have, me menus will allow you to create uh, um, either like navigational menus or certain things, depending on your code. This theme doesn't use menus, so I'm just going to skip it, but it is very useful for many certain themes. Um, the next one, again, theme options is only tied into your exact theme. It may or may not uh, be on a, a, on your menu. This may not even be available if your theme doesn't include certain coding for it, if it wasn't set up. Uh, we'll just skip, basically. Header, same thing, background. And then editor basically lets you uh, uh, edit the actual theme PHP files and, and CSS. So if you need to make a specific uh, edit, to let's say your CSS, which is right here, you can actually go save it without going to the FTP. Very, very nice and useful thing. Um, so the next tab are plugins. Plugins basically are, are different uh, packages of code that expand the functionality. So maybe you have a plugin to speed up the website, or maybe you have a, a nice uh, photo gallery, right? Or maybe you have a nice like sharing a, a plugin or stuff like that. Uh, all you need to do is basically, if you don't code your own, of course, go to add new, search for stuff. Um, let's say I want a photo gallery. So I'm going to do here, photo gallery. And let's say you're looking for something. Always look at the ratings. Uh, make sure they're compatible with your specific version of WordPress. Just click by, you know, just click on details. Look at the descriptions. Look at all these tabs. Look at screenshots if it fits you. And if so, you can install them. And, and they, you know, test them out. So once you install them, they should be in the installed plugins. You can always deactivate, delete them, edit, stuff like that. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, the next tab is the user tab. Again, uh, it'll just include the users that are, that are allowed to log into your, um, your WordPress. So this is our admin. This is mine. I can go and edit the password and include the, a, a, maybe some bio information, stuff like that. So here's where you edit your password. Pretty straightforward. Uh, next one are tools. Um, really, the only use that we use it for importing and exporting posts and pages. Uh, in order to in import and export, you just have them right here. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the next one and the last a, a tab is the settings tab. Here you're going to configure quite a few things for your site. What is your site URL? What is your site, you know, your title tag, your, your tagline? Um, what is the date format? All these kind of configuration things, right? What is the email you, you want to get uh, your admin is a, a using? Um, I'm going to go to the next one. So writing under the settings, the writing uh, really includes formatting, um, kind of default a, a post basically post information. Pretty straightforward. Typically, I don't change much of this. The reading uh, page includes things like um, how many posts, how many pages a post you want to have on each page so you don't have to, your users don't have to click on next and next and next to, to view the additional posts. Uh, again, pretty straightforward. Uh, reading also has one more thing. If you want the search engines to index it, if you want to include a meta, uh, meta robots uh, index or not, of course, you know, mo in most cases, unless you're developing the site, you always want to have it to index for the search engines to index your information. Um, the next one is discussion. That's tied into all of the features of what, how you want people to comment on your site. Uh, just a quick tip. Um, you typically want to have this administrator always must approve a comment so you don't get spam and all this bad stuff and whatever. So pretty straightforward. Uh, media are all the defaults for how you want to upload images and what you want to do with actual media that you upload to the site, uh, sizes, stuff like that. 
Uh, permalinks are how the URLs will look. So if I click on a post, I can see my URL is a nice, uh, this is actually long, but it, it's used in text and it's not something like question mark ID equals post number 6554. So you can kind of set that up, use the sample, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and that's pretty much it for, for kind of the main, main idea. Um, I hope you enjoyed this very quick, brief outline of the, the entire um, WordPress admin. If you have detailed questions or specific questions about very specific things, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments, or you can contact me um, you know, through my website, and, and really hope you like this, and we'll be expanding in the near future about more specific WordPress functionality. Thank you for listening and spending the time just uh, uh, you know, listening to this video and watching it. I really hope you enjoyed it and we'll be happy again to answer any questions. Thank you.